What's goody gang? It's your girl Kiara Ayana and today I am coming to you guys with another do it yourself video. I'm going to be doing a couch transformation in this video. I really didn't like the way my couch was blending in with the other furniture and it was really clashing with the aesthetic of my living room. So I went ahead and I painted my couch using black leather acrylic paint. Yes, I did say it. I painted my couch. So if you guys would like to see the juicy details of this transformation and also a full review on the paint that I used, then stay tuned. Yeah. So we are starting off with just a few items. First thing you're going to need is some sponges. Not this size, this is way too big. You want to use smaller sizes. This is so that you don't absorb too much paint. You're also going to want to use some brushes. Not these big old brushes. You want to use some smaller fine sized brushes for the same reason. Then you're going to need some plastic drop cloth to cover up your floors and your furniture. Then you're going to need some leather cleaner to clean that couch real good. And you're going to need some gloves. And lastly, you're going to need this black leather acrylic paint. Bitch, I'm a mother. <laughs> So the instructions on this paint say that you need to make sure that the surface of the couch is not only clean, but that it is also dry. So after you clean up the couch, you need to make sure that it is completely dry before you lay down any paint. I ended up using six bottles of this black leather paint by Angulus, I believe that's how you pronounce it. So this paint comes in various sizes, colors, and sheens. I got the first three bottles from Amazon and then I got the second three bottles from Blick Art Supply in person. The consistency of this paint was very thin, however it came off very thick so I quickly realized that I would only need about two coats to finish off my entire couch. I initially was using the normal sheen and then quickly realized that that was giving off sort of like a pleather, shiny leather, garbage bag look. So I switched to the flat sheen for my last coat of paint. And I really liked how that turned out. I also really like the drying time on this paint. The back of the bottle says that it takes 24 hours for this to dry. But I really like that it was drying in at least two hours because I have animals and things and they came and started walking all over it and my couch was fine. If you've made it this far into the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps and I appreciate you guys for all of your support. Thank you. So after three consistent hours, I decided to give myself a break. I was able to complete the entire front portion of the couch and I think I did pretty good. I wanted to make sure that I gave the first coat of paint a full day to dry before putting on the final coat and I ran out of paint on the first day so I had to go back and get some more paint on day two so that I can finish up the sides. Next I will be letting all of this dry for a day before going in with my final coat of paint. So now that the paint is nice and dry, I'm just going to go into the cracks of the couch so that's like underneath the pillows and I'm going to paint those so that when people actually sit down, they don't see that the couch was white beforehand. 
So in addition to doing all of the cracks, I also went ahead and did my second coat of paint using the flat, flat paint so that it wouldn't give that shiny feel. But I did that off camera because I ran out of memory, of course, and I will leave all the paint details in the description. So I give this paint five out of five stars. I think it was very easy to use. It was super affordable. And also I'm editing this video two weeks later and nothing has chipped or cracked. Just look at how my entire living room yeah. is pieced together. I love the way the couch looks. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment your favorite part. Don't forget all of the items that were used in this video will be listed in the description. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.